For the back panel, I made a total of 20 squares which makes it 56 cm by 70. I added a left and right decrease squares and two rectangular patches for the armholes where the sleeves would go. And for the rectangular patches, I made them 11 by 14. And for the armhole decrease patches, I just knitted regularly until it measures 7 cm and then I cast it off 3 stitches, then continued knitting regularly in pattern. For the front panels, I did a total of 16 squares with the same left and right decrease for the armholes. Each panel measures 56 by 28 cm. And then for the sleeves, I did a total of 18 squares which makes it 56 by 56 cm for each sleeve panel. And for the shaping of the collar, I needed straight until it measures 6 cm. And then I started decreasing by one stitch by knitting two stitches together until there are only five stitches left. And then I just knit it straight until the whole patch measures 14 cm. For the collar, I just used a 1 by 1 rip and made it 56 by 11 cm. And then for the ribbing, I used the 2 by 2 rib stitch for the front and back panels and cuffs. And then for the cuffs, it's 28 by 6 cm. And I made it short so it would make the cuffs a bit tighter and create this puffy shape for the end of the sleeves and last for the button band i cast it on 14 stitches to create five centimeters and knit it in one by one rib until it measures 50 cm for the materials i use about four to five skeins Canes. I don't know how to pronounce that, of 8 ply milk cotton yarn for each patch color and since I'm a beginner, I just got some cheap yarn but uh, yeah, even if they're cheap, they actually turn out to be still soft and breathable so they're actually good considering their price and I also use 4 balls of 4 ply yarn and a darning needle for sewing and six millimeter needles and then four millimeter circular needles um plus some big mahogany colored buttons here comes the longest part knitting all the patches for the stitches that i use i'm gonna link the tutorials that i watch because those explain this more clearly because I just really took random knitting footages but yeah, here are all the 6 stitches that I use and the color palette that I worked with so I basically used the knit stitch, stocky knit stitch, moss stitch, bee stitch, seed stitch, and the jackbird so right now I'm just doing the knitted squares and I did a total of 10 patches for this and since I wanted a cleaner edge, I did the English slip stitch salvage edge. So I slipped the first and last stitch on the right side of the patch. And then I purled the first and last stitch on the wrong side of the patch. And it creates this sort of clean braided look. Now I'm just working on the moss stitch. I did a total of 12 squares for this one and I personally think that this is such a beautiful stitch but also one of the most confusing for me because it works with a 4 row pattern and uh, this is also called an extended seed stitch because for the first row you alternate between knit and purl just like what i'm doing here right now and then for the second row you're gonna alternate between purl and knit and for the third row it's another purl and knit again until the 
and furl, just furl it, furl it, furl it. I don't know, sometimes like I audibly say furl it, turn it, and furl to myself just to remind me of what stitches I'm working on. Um, and then for the fourth row, you just knit and purl again until you reach the end of the row and then after that you just repeat the four rows and this is how it looks like in front i just use a paper clip as kind of like a row marker so this is how the back side looks and while i'm knitting just a little background on this project um, while I was looking for my first knitting project, I came across the Harry Styles cardigan which is a lot of people were doing last year and then I looked up JW Anderson's pattern and then I used it as a guide but I adjusted the sizing based on my measurements because the original pattern is just too big. I know it was meant to be oversized but it's just too oversized and also if you have an old cardigan or jacket you can use it as a reference for your sizing and oh, right now I'm, I'm eating I don't know why I decided to put this footage and I'm filming this I'm recording this voiceover at like 2 a.m. already so yeah, enjoy some mukbang break and oh, okay, it's done now. Back to knitting! For the B stitch, I did a total of just 9 squares. Um, this pattern is also a pattern of 4 rows and it takes up a lot of yarn. So I just did like 9 squares. And for the first row, you just knit all the stitches just like what I'm doing here. And then for the second row, okay, I'm still knitting. Yeah, so yeah, for the first row, you just knit until the end of the row. And then for the second row, you just knit the first stitch and then you knit one below, just like that. And then you knit again and then knit one below and then knit again and then knit one below so you just repeat that until the end of the row and for the third row you just knit all the stitches again and then for the fourth row you knit the first two stitches knit one below and then knit and then repeat the knit one below and knit the last two stitches i don't know if that made sense i'm just gonna link the tutorial down below um anyway this is how it looks like here i'm trying to multitask while i'm knitting um but this is kind of sometimes a mistake because if you're a beginner beginner knitter you know sometimes it can be hard to like quote unquote read stitches so it's hard sometimes to identify where you left off but yeah i'm trying to watch some youtube videos here i think while i'm working on this one and that led to a lot of error here i'm still watching i think i'm watching grace anatomy here i just started watching grace because i literally don't have i'm running out of series to watch but anyway here i'm doing the seed stitch which is a two row pattern and i did a total of 11 squares so it's just an alternate between knit and purl and purl and knit For the stock in it, I wasn't able to record any decent footage, so let's just go with this one where it looks like I'm doing surgery to my stitches. I'm actually picking up my stitches here because at this point, I was still knitting too tight, 
so I had to unravel frequently and then knit again in a looser way because it takes a while to fix your tension if you're a beginner that, that looks painful <laughs> just like watching watching me do this but uh, yeah with the stocking it it's just basically knitting all the knits and then purling all the pearls and it doesn't require a lot of thinking and now the jack word this one gave me a lot of hand pain and a headache i was sitting with my two hands two hands and it took me two hours to make each batch here's the pattern that i made um, i had to learn continental letting do for this one you can just use one hand actually but personally i found it harder to catch the floating threads at the back you can check out color stranded knitting or fair isle knitting to make this one right now i'm just casting off and this is how it looks like i think it looks so pretty but it also took a lot of hard work for this one i'm just doing the ribbing for the cuffs and i am knitting in flat you can also knit in the round but i prefer to be able to knit the cuffs flat together with the sleeves right now i am just doing a two by two rib which is just knit and knit and then purl and purl so you're just gonna do that for the next rows until the end of the row and then after that you basically just knit all the knits and purl all the pearls for the cast off, I did a stretchy bind off and it kinda takes more time than a regular bind off but it creates this wider and more stretchy finish compared to just casting off regularly. This is how it looks like, it's perfect for making like a funnel shape for the cuffs. For the rest of the ribbing though, for the front and back panels, I just cast it off regularly in pattern since I didn't really need it to be stretchy or anything. Right now I'm just doing the ribbing for the front panel and this is how it looks like. Here I'm doing the ones for the back panel and still still trying to multitask but you know th this one is i think this type of stitch is okay for multitasking because it doesn't require much thinking unlike the moss stitch and the bee stitch looks so pretty i think I, just, I had like a hole some holes in this stitch here's the color And finally, here are all the patches. Here's the what the patches for the collar looks like. They are beautiful. I almost cried when I finished them because I started this back in February and then I finished like in April. And <laughs> they look so beautiful. For the button band, I also did an english salvage stitch just like what i did with the patches so i slipped my first stitch and then i continued knitting in one by one rib which is just knitting and purling until the end of the row the only difference with this one is you slip the last and first stitch on the right side of the work and then you slip it knitwise and then for the wrong side you purl the first and last stitch of your work and for the buttonholes i knitted four stitches already and then you put your yarn over and then slip your first stitch on your right needle 
and then put your yarn at the back again and then I just cast it off five stitches so to cast off you just put your right needle pearlwise to the stitches on your left needle and then you pull your yarn over and then cast it off and then you're just gonna repeat casting off until you've cast it off five stitches And then for the last stitch, um, you will slip your last stitch back to your left needle and then you turn your work over. And this time we're gonna cast on. So you just pull, you just put your needle below your left needle and then pull your yarn over to your left needle just like what I'm doing here and then you're just gonna cast on five stitches plus one extra stitch because that extra stitch you have to slip that pearlwise and cast off that one stitch to close the row Right now I'm closing off the row so I'm going to cast this off and you see how I struggle with like little needles <laughs> and yeah there you go and now we've done a buttonhole and then you just continue knitting and pattern as normal To sew all the patches together, I used the mattress stitch and basically you just pick up the V's in the patches, the V looking shape and then you put your darning needle through it and then you do the same with the patch that you are with the other patch that you are working on so you just alternate between picking up V's for the two patches that you are sewing together And this is how the sleeves look like when attached. Right now I'm just sewing the front ribbing onto the front panel, but since the ribbing has more stitches than the patches, instead of picking up two stitches for each um, side, I just pick up one stitch from the patch and then two stitches from the ribbing which would make the two sides even, even if they don't have the equal number of stitches. One downside though with the mattress stitch is it creates quite a bulky seam on the inside. You can also use a big forward or a back stitch to sew all the patches together. Now I'm just sewing the buttons. I got some big 20 millimeter ones so it would be proportionate to the size of the cardigan and finally a last minute decision I crocheted some flowers and thought of adding it on the collar so it would make it quite unique from other patchwork cardigans this is how it looks like she looks gorgeous I really enjoyed this project I don't know though where or when I can wear this cardigan because it's like summer here all year round but anyway if you've reached this far thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one